Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I am standing outside of my business, the So Hope Community Sewing Room, which is located in Florissant, Missouri. Some of you guys know that I spent 11 days in Uganda um, for a mission trip. And I saw the pictures concerning So Hope and the other businesses, uh, but this is my first time personally uh, seeing the damage. <clears throat> it looks like all the businesses, businesses here at Florissant Meadows are closed because of the flooding. For those of you that are not local, um, on July the 26th, um, there was uh, unprecedented rain and it caused flooding. So my business is not the only one that is affected. A lot of businesses have been affected along with individuals as well. Um, and so I am standing outside of the business and I wanted to just show you guys so you can see what it looks like at this point. I know so many of you all have um, expressed your care and concern um, also, there have been a lot of volunteers that have helped with cleaning up uh, So Hope from the flooding, and I'm just incredibly grateful. Um, so, just want to show you guys. So, I'm going to turn the camera so you can see. <clears throat> So inside, you can see where um, the flooring has been all pulled up. Um, it smells like mold and mildew in here. Some of you may remember that we had displays right by the window. So as you can see, the displays have been completely removed along with the flooring. As you can see, um, these look like cut lines in the walls. So um, all of this area of the wall is going to have to be taken out because of the mold. Um, all of the items that uh, we have left are here, and I am grateful for that. Um, it looks like our tables were okay. Um, some of the some of the shelving, um, it looks like we will be able to continue to use, um, but some of the other shelving, um, it just got ruined um, with the storm. A lot of our fabric, from what I understand, um, it had to be thrown away because of the um, water damage. Uh, but some, some people have already been contacting me about donating fabric, so I am so appreciative of that. Um, as you can see, the wall behind me uh, is going to have to be um, replaced as well. Um, and in the back room where <clears throat> the flood water came in, there's a creek um, actually behind the parking lot of community support. Um, and I'm just trusting God. I think anytime there is something like this where water comes in, and things are completely, <laughs> just completely broken or whatever, um, you have to pray and say, okay, God, what are you doing? Um, what are our next steps? So um, I'm just praying and I trust God. I believe that. So hope is God's vision. And I believe that he's called us to be here in the community um, to use sewing as a way to reach people um, and provide a space for healing through creativity. Um, and so, you know, I'm trusting God, but I wanted you all to just see what things look like, how they look. So I'm just gonna continue to show you guys some more. I'm grateful for our landlord who has had people come in and pull up the carpet. I'm grateful for my husband and volunteers who have been working in front of the scenes and behind the scenes, this is our back storeroom. Um, and some of you all that have been here, <laughs> you knew that back here was full of stuff, full of fabric. 
um, full of just everything. Um, but a lot of stuff we um, volunteers and my husband um, put into storage. So um, I'm a little emotional, but I'm grateful too at the same time. So just wanted to give you guys just a, a realistic picture of what this flood has done um, and just show you guys because you guys have been part of this journey from the very beginning where I posted pictures of us painting, um, pictures of us moving in, and evidently there's going to be more to this story, okay? There's more <laughs> to this story. So, like I said, y'all, I am just getting in here. This is my first time seeing the space at the Soul Hope Community Soul and Broom, and unfortunately, it looks like every business in the shopping plaza um, is closed and it will be temporarily closed for a while. A lot of these businesses are small, small owned businesses, family run businesses. So just keep them in your prayers. And yeah, at the end of the day though, I'm gonna close this off by saying God is good. Everything, what the enemy meant for bad, God will use it for our good. So to be continued. Okay, to be to be continued. So keep um so hope in your prayers, the other businesses in your prayers, and we're just gonna see what God does and how he does it. I know it's gonna be big, I know it's gonna be great. So for those of you all that are on the mailing list, I'm gonna be sending out an email soon to just communicate about our next steps, particularly for those that have booked classes. Um, obviously, it's going to be a while before we open, so just bear with us. All right, y'all. Be blessed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.